I might have to adjust volume a little bit. It seems... Actually, for once, it's a game we start up and it seems quiet. Mind blown. Also, we have we have a hat that can talk, I think. If I recall correctly. Uh, I wonder where the carrot was. Uh, is it Zed? Yes. You're still thinking about that? Also, you can't really see her face very well. Let's put the cat up here for now. We'll have to figure out where we're going to put it. Uh, you would plead exhaustion and take afternoon naps. Mm, yeah, that too. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. Okay. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. This sounds really weird. Hey, Jenny, can you look through the restroom for me, please? Can you compare? Thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Can you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bowling like before. Keep in mind that if you weren't if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. We're six feet under! Ha <laughs> ha! The story starts from a carrot. Is it does apparently, so yeah. Hey Xbox Tig! I don't remember this, but apparently yes, it all started with a carrot. I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stopped the witch's house in Hi uh, Hylian, Hylian, where all roads lead to. The carriage was her nose. That's what made her a witch. No, that's snowmen. <laughs> we were second place at the school uh, for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyways? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is, this is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Sh shoes? Why? I, what's happening? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive instead. I won't. Uh, hey, Jabberjay. We have the same birthday. Oh, really? It's going to be your birthday on Saturday as well. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. Perfect. Perfect. It is the best birthday, to be fair. So, yay. Awesome. <laughs> and hi, welcome. Good to have you. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. <laughs> Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? Hylian? The first thing I uh, to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. Okay. This is my first time hearing something like this. I feel like... This conversation has changed compared to the demo. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when, you, when, you, when she first arrived at Hylian. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. Rogo Kyle, thank you for the host and hello, good morning, how are you? That's strange. It's true, I'll ask us other people if you don't believe me. Keyword gained. Lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. Keywords. Keyword. Ha. Huh. Alright. Alright. I'm intrigued. What are these keywords? I don't remember these keywords from the demo. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Maybe we do want to play this with the controller. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... I'm not lo I'm no longer used to using the uh, arrow keys to move around. Let's say it that way on a keyboard. That's very old school. The truth remains one. Should shoes be taken off when arriving at Hylian? Asks others. Okay, apparently that's a very important thing. The fruit was really delicious though. 
Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. That's very dangerous. Though that dessert sounds amazing. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the great witch series card. Um, chocolate frogs. I got scored because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Hylian. I'll definitely try the new bicular cupcakes there though. That's if I get to Hylian before I get bored to death. Well, we have to apparently talk to people about shoes. So, hi. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, you want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Don't give alcohol to a child. And then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. And can I ask you a question instead of for a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversations. You can initiate, initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Ah, what's up? Oh, I see. Personal stories, chit chat, shop. Oh, that's different. Hey, Sorkam, welcome. Alcohol tea. I mean, Irish coffee and tea can be nice. Um, all right, Pinky Puppet, have a good lurk. Thank you so much for hanging out and being here. Appreciate it. Uh, have a have a have a good lurk. Thanks for hanging out. What's up? Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Uh, a good Long Island tea is a nice treat, but gets too sweet after about three. To be fair, to be fair, if you drink three Long Island iced teas, you don't need any more after that. <laughs> you also have tea with rum and orange and cinnamon. Ooh, that does sound good. Oh, that does sound good. Have you wearing? Okay, yeah. Oh, ye who reaches, reacheth Hylian, look first upon thy shoes. Or well, that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me at a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating Magna Cum Laude. Uh, it is sure amazing you're graduating Magna Cum Laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? You get a glass of, a glass of rum with a shot of tea. He would serve you that. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being bored... Uh, won't be an issue. No, it's so boring here though. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard uh, about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire! Really? I'm sure there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? <laughs> you had a gin and tonic with black tea and butterfly pea tea in it. That sounds intriguing. That sounds intriguing. But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind, you've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once we're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Hey, Nev. Hello, hello. Not yet. Four more days. Four more days. Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view your notes to see the keywords you have. Ah. Mm, related people. Okay. All right. Can I eh, go to here? I can go through here. Ordinary passenger. Hello. Oh, he looks dapper. He looks so dapper. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? 
correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when it's deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier, so what brings you here? Speak. Um, I would like to talk about boots, apparently. Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfort uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, I just realized I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? N no, I'm definitely not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. Wow, we say that with such a happy face. It's like, Virgil, I really hate you. You suck. <laughs> you don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them home. That doesn't comfort me at all, though. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and well until we arrive. We still have three more days to go. Three more days is as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Three days on a train. That is insane. That is insane. All right. But we've, we've, we've learned how to investigate. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Yay, we did it. We did the tutorial. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a ter where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Shut up and look at the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. <laughs> Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Uh, give it up. The train won't stop for two days. Wait, now it's two days. Ugh. I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Bad chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you sign up for three days of even more boredom. Oh, now it's three days again? Okay, sure. Uh, are there, aren't there any crocophants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers. This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? <laughs> hey, a boa constrictor. The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's something massively... Uh, there's some massively critical issue. Please. Please, please, please? It's the cutest conductor in the world. It's the cutest conductor in the world. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey to due to a critical issue. Yay! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning in the departure time. Is that an author? Yes. Can we go outside? We'll likely be announced tomorrow. We'll depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Bye! In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go. I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, 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 not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. He's so cute. All right, we're leaving the train. Goodbye. It's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. All right, you can view the memo board of your current jobs. Yeah. I go crazy. I've played this game before. Hi, Emotion and Stable Cat. Uh, no, you're not going crazy. We have played the demo for this game uh, before. And now the game is actually out in early access. 
So we're doing a uh, sweater stream for it right now. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging off the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Go up the vines. Uh, is the same as the demo? Um, no. There is definitely some stuff in it that wasn't in it before. It's a secret passageway. I don't think it's a secret passageway. Or a, a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm pretty sure stuff has changed. What's this? Looks like a little honey, a little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of wheat that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't be happening. Let's go for the nucleus nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you will be able to find it. Alright, touch it. Ding. Remove. You can get temporarily get uh, you can temporarily get rid of them with a wheat terminator potion. They'll grow back for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, it's over there. And now we remove this. I definitely feel like they've removed some stuff. Alright, there we go. We made it through. It's time to explore. Please don't use that word. Explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Ooh, we can switch sprint. Wee! Oh no, we are a bit faster. We are a bit faster. No, I feel like there's definitely stuff that's changed. The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, we're so not gonna make it to the train. We're so not gonna make it to the train. I got branches. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of sound adjusting though. Just a little bit. It's almost perfect. Just a little bit. There we go. I don't think there was anything else. Yeah. Oh, the rest is fine. Cool. I definitely feel like it hasn't didn't have like this music in it before. Yeah, yeah, that we must be trained by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's other things I need to look at. Uh, hey, Sophia Marie. I did just start this. Yes. Hi. Welcome. We uh, just did the uh, prologue. Uh, well, the prologue, but the intro on the train, and now we we just started. We're going to the top of the mountain. You just that recently as well? Awesome! How are you liking it? I played the demo back in the day. Um, I say back in the day, like last year. So it's cool to see what has changed. You did the first major part of the game, nice. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. The art is amazing. I agree. I agree. It's really cool. But yeah, we, so we do. Ah, no, I need an. I need a. I need an ant. The cute is so art. <laughs> that too. Um. You love it so far. That's awesome. Okay. I want the shiny. I need to get the shiny. There's more shiny over here. What is this shiny? Why there's so many things blocking my path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch's pattern. Which pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered into my head. Should be an issue, as long as it's drawn well. Okay. But yeah, uh, we're doing a we're doing a sponsored stream uh, for it. So if you want to check it out, there is a link. Came out in early access. It's ten percent off, and. Uh, yeah, we are really cute. We are so cute. I guess we're just going this way for now. We made it to the mountain summit. To the glowing tree and it's all butterflies. It's a gigantic shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. It's also on Game Pass. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Game Pass, great. 
Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give up, give up a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies growing with moonlight. Glowing with moonlight, not growing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. We are so cute when we're so upset. It's like... <coughs> so adorable. What about those being together? Two being together. They usually race together artificially to get moon flowers in Lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Mm, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Well, good thing right now it's still 10 o'clock. I think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for the night. What about the ground? The dirt and rock should be make for make sure it make for a nice bed. That's not funny. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. May as well collect some for study purposes. Panda's also being very cute. He is, yeah. I think I just sneak up and grab it. Wait, don't you remember what Mr. Goravier said? Death lives under the bed? No, no, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. We just encyclopedia and in case in la, 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 la. see this is new this was not in the demo uh, this was not in the demo the encyclopedia press and hold the use quill button to draw once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete uh, the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia game pass is great it is absolutely great because it allows people to try out so many games and yet the devs still get paid for them it's great a person used the quill to draw it, or they get, still get money for it, because if people in, on Game Pass play it, it's great. A person used the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Swap tools. Ah, use the quill. Hey, Rinsara! Hello! Blue Moon Butterfly. Open it. Ah, a butterfly that emits a soft... Blue dust. Okay. Oh, habitat and time of appearance. Tools used for collecting. Blue moon. Collectibles that can be acquired. How to make collecting easier. Ah. Great. It's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Uh, how do, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Time, location, habitat, tool. tool. So you can collect them using a butterfly net. Hey, the Sony is apparently man mandating demos for all games above 34 bucks. That's awesome. Reset Dev stop making demos, demos as much. Um, due to the pandemic, a lot of a lot of them started again, which is awesome. We have another Steam Next Fest next month. There's going to be a lot of demos then again, which is awesome. We've discovered a lot of really, 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 uh, awesome games that way. Like, we played this one last year already. Uh, the demo, that is. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do about then. I want to do it right now! Getting to the witch's house in Hyland is more important. Mm. Let's go back down. Oh, there's got to be something else that's fun. Wait. Draw with a quill. <gasps> there's more stuff to draw. Whatever I just drew, I drew it. Maple herb. Ah. ah, and then you've got you've got critters, you've got herbs, potions, and candy. Maple herb. Ecology info: size, weight. A red herb that roots itself in cliffs. Also cut coward's grass because children pick the herb as a show of bravery. Unlike plants that grow in soil, its roots are spread out wide, so try uh, to pull it while shaking it at an angle instead of pulling it straight up. Well then. We're just learning stuff, chat. That's what we're doing. All the learning. Heck yeah. Hey, come here. No. 
Right now, I'm not gonna do any, uh, any more learning about the butterfly. And for some reason, Steam won't run specs limits on listings are for 1080p 30fps. Yeah, that is a bit weird. That is a bit weird. Witch flower. Witches are often used as flower when making things, hence the name witch flower. Grab its stem and give a slight tug to pull them up from the ground. So I could do that and just grab it. And tug. Oh, because I think it's a statue. I think it's an overgrown statue, Cucumpere. Wait. Oh, a choir. Rocks. I got a piece of rock. I've got a piece of rock. Mm-hmm. Dangle Mango. Oh god. <laughs> that's a name. Uh that's a that's a name. Last time you played it was Ixion, and now the end is waiting for the game to come out. Yeah. That's true. Maple herb. Another dangle mango. Do I already know about dangle mango? No, I don't. But I can't I can't seem to uh, learn about it either. Dangle mango, yes. Yes, sounds fun. I know, I know, I know. Dangle mango sounds like something else. Uh, <gasps> Kitty! Oh wow! Ellie, let's get back to the train. Look at that! A shiny white cat! I've never seen anything like it before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after the creatures! Go get the kitty! Kitty, kitty, kitty! Kitty, kitty, kitty! Screw the train! We were off to chase the kitty. The wonderful kitty of the woods. Oh no! We can't get through there. Alright, what's this? I don't have the right chalk. I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern? It looks a like different, different... Uh, blah, 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 blah. It looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. Okay. Oh, it's like a... It's like a bell. Aww. Oh, the, the character? Um, I don't know, maybe? Silver Star Bell. The silver bell-shaped flower also produces a mellow sound like that of a bell. The echoes with the the echoes of the flower evoke a melancholy, melancholy feeling from within. The buds bloom only at night when there's light. The pollen that bursts from the bud as, a flower, as it flowers can be collected. The animations are super cute, yes. Agreed. All right, investigate. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Does I have the one I just picked up earlier? Let's draw it again with that. Should I draw the witch pattern again? Yes. I drew it. I will just activate it and then go through here. Where did the cat go? Look, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can put the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there's people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch house? That's true, but... No buts about it! Knock knock, anyone there? Is anybody here? Seems like nobody's here. It could be an abandoned witch's house, but why is the light on? Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. But why is the light on? Oh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although, it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed um, on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. Hi, Grunark! Hello, how are you? But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep on one night or so. It's better than sleeping outside. 
breaking and entering yeah actions such as collecting or sprinting use stamina you can recover stamina by uh by eating or sleeping the house is a bit messy just sleep for one day who cares no i want to clean it up oh virgil let me clean it up Aww, mini, mini freaking Virgil won't let me clean it up. That's so rude. Um, what's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, or did you dream of just that? You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. By train, uh huh. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait. Isn't that actually the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Ah! Is it really? It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Or did you? Dun dun dun! Alright, let's run. Choo choo! Come here train, where are you? Uh. Train, train, train. She has a lovely house, yeah. Huh? Where is the train? Ha 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 ha. Looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where is the train? It probably went to Hylian. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. I also want a train whistle bird. What's that thing? It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. <laughs> uh, quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for ever sleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine. Whatever. Just be quiet. Also, choo choo. Oh, wait. Letter. Letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender. You're probably sure to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry. The train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest to so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive there, please send uh, Enlight and Arden my regards. Bartender. He said there was a village! Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village! But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, right? Right. You hurt me, right? Well then. I might as well add more to the en en encyclopedia now. Why is the word encyclopedia so freaking difficult today, chat? Can I go here? Aw, I wanted to go after the gaga bird. Uh, the bathroom are not helping makes her feel... Make her feel bad about missing the train. No, no, no. The making me feel bad about missing the train is my hat. The bartender is like, yeah, whatever. This is fine. <laughs> Hi, Art Bear. Hello. How are you today? Good to see you. Can I collect this? Shake. A crayon apple. Can I investigate you? No, I can just shake you. All right. Gotta, gotta get all the loot. Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to shake this tree again, even though I can literally see the branches in the tree. Penny Snoot needs booping. Oh, but he's a sweep. But he's a sweep. And in a village too, yes, yes. There is lots of stuff to do. Bunnies! Draw with a quill. <gasps> They're so cute! They're not even bunnies, they're called squishy chubs. And, oh, can I hug you? I want to hug you, it's so cute. Burrows are lives under the ground in groups of two to four. As curious creatures, they approach people first. Should someone come near them, pinching and squeezing their comfy cheeks will leave tufts of soft fur in your hands. Oh, squish them, squish them. Oh. 
<laughs> we did this. It's so cute. It's gonna go. Bing. Oh, that is so adorable. Okay. All right. Squishy chubs are the best so far. I mean, they also had a really cute freaking uh, conductor on the train, but squishy chubs. No, they liked it. They gave us a little smile and then they left because we're done with them for now. Fur farming. Yeah. Ethical fur farming. Because we're just pinching their little cheeks and going like, Oh my god, are you, aren't you cute? Ooh, okay, there is... Yeah, I can't... This is the way to the village, but the little hum honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house, find a way, and clean up. The conductor was an otter, yeah. Squish the cheeks! Yeah! And squish the cheeks. They're so cute! Oh my god, I love them. They're so adorable! Utterly adorable, yes. Alright. Definitely not collecting all the things. I'm not hoarding things. No, you are. Is this the sign for the witch's house? It's different from what I'm used to. It's because it's old. Jabberjay, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Let's get rid of the weeds first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull out this, uh, to pull this all out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of weeds. Of weed. <laughs> There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Oh. Okay. I guess. Ah, come on. You can do this. Oh, okay. Oh, we cleaned. Okay, we cleaned up. I see, I see. What about the suspicious... Uh, oh, over there on the left? Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out as well. Uh, oh, at the top. There might be the cat in there. So we would put, we would put a cat in the sack. That's just rude. Okay, this is not something... Take a nap! I wouldn't mind taking a nap here. Maybe later. <laughs> poke it. I can't poke it. Huh. Retoring's gifts. That's no weed. What was that? It left something behind. A retoring. Retoring? Uh, you have a bad headache and there's going to be lots of people around you. Uh, family and food because it's not always Independence Day today. Well, happy day off. I'm super sorry that you have a stupid headache though. Headaches suck. Um, can you, can you like take something and maybe, um... You know, make the headache go away. And yeah, take some squ quiet breaks as well, because headaches suck. Retouring? That's a cute name. Why was it buried there? Someone could have buried it. Or it could have been sleeping. Hi, Loki. Hello. You're going to have to be more specific than that. There's not much known that's not... There's not much that's known about retourings. Well, other than good fortune, if you find one. Yeah, I guess it did leave behind a gift of sorts. Try to spot them while you're wandering around. Okay, I'll look for more. Okay. All right, we're just gonna do that. The doctor doesn't want to amputate your head. Yeah, I originally asked Lex to amputate my head, please, or chop off my neck as well, because that's when I get that's that's how I get headaches. I get them from from my from my like it's tension headaches from my neck, and uh, yeah. But he he also does not want to chop off my head for some reason, <laughs> you know. For some reason, he just refuses to do that. It's so rude. Okay, I think we've cleaned up everything. Alright, let's go inside. Mm, look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. Okay. I'm almost out of stamina. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this! That might be so from a dust standpoint. <laughs> But what about the order? It's a witch bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. 
Mm. Witch history, the 12 plants. Fun books of plants. Gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Ah, I can put books in there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and yes, Panda is chilling in the windowsill. Being a little sleepy, but I wonder where the witch is. The one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating a living well somewhere in Lucerne or two. Now, I, I am. I am trying to clean up. I'm not trying to leave. It's a notebook. I, I hope I get a garden. A garden? What? A garden. I hope I get a garden. Might be useful later. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around. The blankie looks so soft. It is super soft. It's, um, Twitch sent uh, a lot of partners, like a little partner gift last December. And it had a blankie. It had, had like that blankie in it. And it's so soft and warm. And I loves it. He absolutely loves it. He loves that spot so much. I'm finally, I finally managed to get out of school. Stop bossing me around. Hi, Schnaglet. Hello. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Yes, that's true. <laughs> there was also a cat in there. He would have known. <laughs> it's so cute. And then that's my cat. Mm. Yeah, the first one was Schnecklet's cat being super adorable. The second one was Panda wanting treats. <laughs> hey, Urbanized Fox. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? <gasps> yes. Go to the workplace. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Whoa, look at this. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning, though. Ugh, cleaning. Again. Yay. Acquire. My inventory is full. Oh. I know what this is. It is it's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle. It would be hard to... Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I need a friendly toad, at least. I need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. Need you at least fix the extract in order to make potions. Yes. Okay. All right. Repairing the crafting tools. Got it. Bat cave. Yes. Bat cave. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something. That, that's how that song goes, right? This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. <gasps> Use. I am so appreciate if... Actually, wait. Do I need to... That I can just move all? Do I need to unpack this? I wonder if I need to unpack that. <laughs> Uh, you're a bit jelly how wide my windowsills are. They are pretty wide, yeah. They are pretty wide. Um, that's the side quest. Keywords. I don't know how to get to my inventory. So we'll see. Oh, and that's like a big chest. I got it. Okay, gotcha. Right, let's clean up the cauldron. This is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use it? Of course! Expertly process ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you end up with a proper potion. Ah, you need to follow the required ingredients, fire settings, and ladle directions. I actually liked teacher Olivia. So, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. Cool. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Ah, oh, the weed potion. Got it. Bing. Uh, conversion has to do with modern installation of walls. Yeah, probably. Our walls are... Oh, my God. Like, so, so we... 
we're, we used to live in a house that was built in the 70s. And now we live in a, in a house that was built 50 years later. And holy crap. <laughs> did you know? Uh, did you know that um, if you have a house and you have the windows closed and the sun shines into the house, it actually warms up and stays warm? Same if you turn the heating on, it actually does stay warm. Did you know that? Because apparently houses do that. Because <laughs> our old house did not do that. Because, uh, yeah, that it needed a lot of work in that regard. Um, but yeah, apparently that's, that's uh, how that works. So that was good. <laughs> Uh, houses have insulation yeah they do they do to be fair to be fair our old house it's not that it didn't have insulation it's the um insulation of the windows was crap so there were like bits where it just kind of went through next to the windows and it was drafty your 70s house is heating the surroundings yeah origin ours was doing that too definitely like you turn the heating on it get warm and then you turn the heating off again like you, you'd go up to like 21 22 degrees and then you turn it off and within like an hour you were back down to like 17 it's crazy did you have no actually no i'm pretty sure we like well some were not all though but here we have double pane everywhere with a pretty big gap, so the insulation value is like really good. Florida, Florida houses are always too hot. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. A witch is usually this sloppy. Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. And I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Do Florida houses come with their own insulation with alligators? Doubt it. Probably insulation against alligators. Now let's focus on what we're doing now. Oh. Oh. Oh, I still have to clean up first. Okay. A spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. It reads, a potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used in it. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Okay, cool. There's something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learn it at school. It's the ancient witch langu language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your school wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyways? Uh, looks like a recipe. It seems like a moon's something. I have no idea. I have a headache. An unreadable memo. An old memo written in an unintelligible language. I think I learned the language a while ago, but I can't remember. How was she the second highest graduate, like, in terms of, like, grades in her school, if she doesn't remember anything that she learned at school that she just left, like, three days ago? That's ridiculous. There's no use for it now. Okay. Encyclopedia and recipes. Okay, Luna's oil. Ah, okay. So you got a headache from reading the shortest of things. Yeah, yeah. How did she do it at school? Did she cheat? Is that why she went into the principal's office? Because she changed her grades? Is that, is that what she did? A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put the ingredients in and just wait. It's awful. Can you then simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no handle for winding the spring. We want to get a roaster handle. I don't need I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for the basic recipes yet. And there should be something when you get to the village. Yep, the village comes first. By then, there's nothing... By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. Yes, I'm done cleaning. Yay! We can make potions now. The school scores an opposite of what she thought, so she was the second lowest. Maybe, Mr. Marvel. Mm-hmm. Does there bring on the ground? Let's try making something with them now. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? 
It's the weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. Let's do it. Removing pesky pumpkins. Open the encyclopedia. Did it. All right, view the details. Easy, stage four, don't stir. The recipe is shown in detail on the page to the right. Ingredients required to craft the selected potions are shown here. Ingredients refer to process collectibles obtained from animals and plants. Oh, there were only two students? Use the view ingredient information button to view its unprocessed collectibles uh, form its collection targets. Uh-huh, okay. Put two squishy chop put two squishy chop fur in an extractor and squeeze the juice. Eww. That's kind of gross. Because it's like the hair oils and whatnot that we're squeezing. Okay, apparently we're squeezing that out. Um, hi, Brother Raffin. Good morning. How are you? Put two witch flour in an extractor and squeeze the juice. Set the fire to stage four. Stir the ladle. Don't stir. Pour it in the right vessel. After pressing the collectibles, put the ingredients into the witch's pot and adjust the fire and ladle as needed. Okay. Exit. You use. Uh, pick the items working the ingredients. You craft potions. Yeah. Okay. Crafting. Yep. Uh. All right. Let's see. Sui. Hello, Sui and Raiders. Thank you so much for coming on over. How are you, Sui? Have you recovered? Hey, Lancifer. Hey, Dragon of Frost. Hey, Sui. How's it going? How did inscription go? And thank you all so much for coming on over with the raid. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I saw. It's so fun. Awesome. I know. I know. Sorry. I just had to uh, lower that real quick there. Um, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, pins are good in uh, Sasuke. Thank you so much for the followers. Hi, welcome. I, I heard. <laughs> it's so fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, God. The cat's on the prowl. Ow, ow, ow. That's my shoulder, cat. Um, but thank you all so much for coming on over. It's lovely to have you. Hi, I'm FG. I'm on Sui's stream team as well. And uh, we're playing Little Witch in the Woods today, which uh, just came out in early access. And um, we're doing a sponsored stream for it. So, uh, you know, hashtag ad and all that sort of stuff. There's a link that you can clickety click. Um, but we're having a lot of fun. We're currently learning how to make potions. And thank you so much. Uh, for coming on over also you have to tell me how to pronounce your name because i'm sure it's not axe of poker <laughs> or is that how you just pronounce it it feels like that's it wouldn't be but hey maybe it is pet the kitty i can now pet the kitty yes because the kitty is now sitting in front of chat there we go pet the kitty that just got up and thank you again so much sui for the raid i really appreciate it all right, we're trying we're trying to craft the wheat terminator potion. Um, okay, select the ingredients. Yes, got it. Easy. Uh, we need the squishy chub fur extract and uh, the witch flower extract. Oh, well, that's just I have two out of two. Okay, and then press and hold to craft. Did I even... I feel like I didn't set the stuff correctly. But hey, it worked. Whatever. <laughs> awesome. The stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. It's a potion for removing weeds. Our hat can talk, by the way. It's magical. Because we're a witch. Let's go through it at, a little hun at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully, since there are no more ingredients. Don't worry. All good. Hey, prayer! Thank you for coming over with the raid. It talks a lot. It talks a lot. Yes. Mm hmm You must throw it at a little honey pumpkin. Make sure to remove the nucleus as well, because weed terminated potion is just temporary. Got it. You can use quick starts to quickly use potions. Select the potion of choice, equip it, and then use it. Okay, cool. Ah, okay. If I had more than just the one. You will lurk it in both. Hey, that's totally alright. Save a light. You can now save a light for the cabinet on the first floor of the witch's house. Ah, what should I do? Save. Cool. We saved it. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once per day. <sighs> and I need to take a nap. Two hours? Yes. Two hours sounds good. Because we are a bit tired. There we go. Now we have re restored a little bit of energy. But not too much. And these are the squishy chubs. And I have to squ squeeze their squishy cheeks. Because they're so cute. 
It's going quite well, thank you. Oh, have I have I sque have I squeezed the others? I think I've squeezed the others. Ooh. I think this is this is also very much a Sui game. It is currently early access only though, so uh, the content obviously is not all in the game just yet. So, bunions, yes. Okay, equip the potion, and then aim with the left trigger. Um. Okay, apparently we're just aiming here. I feel like I didn't... It's working properly. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. That definitely... <laughs> I think I just literally threw it at my feet. But hey, we removed it and we took out the nuclear, so all is well in the world. <laughs> or something like that. Right, kitty cat? Right. Okay, we've made it to the village. Ooh. You look like you crashed here. Hello. Uh, th this is not a village. Look over there. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no, what do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Yeah. It is a big prickly vine. Wisteria. The village is just ahead. Well, or not. Oh my, I know, right? Ooh la la. Okay, I need to find a gra glass or bottle. Use the cooler lock three more items to the catalog. Oh. Hi, Agen. Hey, purple trader. Good to see you both. How's it going? Hello, hello. You had huge and thick. Yeah, we were talking about the prickly vine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can I record the vine? Maybe. Oh, investigate. They're really big. Too big for the wheat terminator potion, I think. Hmm. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. So basically, we were riding a train. We were getting to... We were trying to get to Hylian. And then we stepped off the train. Because you know, the train had a, a delay. And had to stop on the tracks. We got off. And then we got left behind by the train. And now we're here. And now we're going to talk to random strangers. Hello. Do you live in the town? She is so cute. Oh my goodness. Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? The green leaves are so pretty. Oh, yeah, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She really loves nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature. The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make any sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse, lifting candy, that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use the matching a machining tool now. I must process what's been collected to make a potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make the curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her? What? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. <gasps> Coincidence? I think not. All right, now let's make the curse lifting candy to lift the curse. And receive the glass bottle as a reward. That'd be nice. But I feel like we're assuming a little bit much here. Like, it's not like guaranteed that she'll give us the glass bottle. I don't know. <gasps> Squish the chubby cheeks. Squish the chubby cheeks! <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. Squeeze. Perfect. Perfect. They are adorable. Yes, the squishy, the squishy chubs are so cute. Look at them. They're like a slime, but with bunny ears and fur. They're so adorable. The napping owlbear koala thing. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Panda's gone. Yeah, he got up. Um, I'm just wondering. Hmm. Because it does lag a little bit. 
like it's smooth when it like tries to zoom to you but when you're walking around it gets a bit laggy sometimes but yeah early access right all right we're just collecting more items so where do we make the curse breaking candy Okay, I can relieve a, a relieve a light curse, such as uh, as a curse that makes you forget to brush your teeth, or a curse that makes you fall often. The sweet mint flavor of this candy is delicious. Oh, okay. We do make the candy in the in the in the part in the in the cauldron. So a fairy goo, apparently so. Yeah. It looks almost like a goo goo mode. Great. It almost looks like a goo mode. Perfect. Alright, down we go. It looks so tiny on the inside. Alright. Um, use. Oh god, I have to remember. Alright. Squishy chub fur extract and a maple herb extract. Stage 3, don't stir. Okay, maple herb. Squishy chub. Uh, fire strength on three, ladle direction, no ladling, hold to craft. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like we did it. Curse lifting candy. Eats the can uh, eating the candy lifts weak cur cur courses, curses. It's tasty and occasionally enjoyed as a snack. As you can probably tell, uh, this is game is not by a native English speaker, so there are some, some typos here and there. And some some grammar oddities. <laughs> the potion bubble is adorable. Yeah. <gasps> what the heck are you? What is this? Pumpkin terrier. What? It lives off pumpkin pumpkin type plants. Oftentimes, it's covered it's covered in pumpkin vines. It loves to play, so we try to play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Try to remove all the vines wrapped around it if you're curious about its true appearance. <gasps> Weak course is getting her resolved. Yes. Hi, Tongle. How are you? Good to see you. Oh no! Stop running away. No, no. Stop it. No, we're not doing this. Come back here. It is very adorable, yes. I got pumpkin terrier fur. Can I actually remove all the vines from you? Or are you just leaving now? Oh, they're teasing me. I can't actually remove all of the things from them. That's just cheeky. How are you doing today, Tongle? Good to see you. Yeah. Alright. We were over here. Going over here. Oh yeah, isn't her caravan pulled by an owlbear? I feel like I remember that sort of stuff. Should I give her the curse lifting candy? Yes. Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello! Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Oh, thank you so much. To hell with nature! I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man uh, I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him, yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just ro rots and dies. <laughs> Still, I'm glad the curse was easily removed. Easily removed. Thank you so much. My name is Aurea. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice... I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to the town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. <laughs> Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty? Oh yeah, there's a witch's house here. That's good. I've been I've business in the village too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. <laughs> oh my god. She just hates nature and how doesn't she? <laughs> Hi, Raps are ours. Good to see you. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, uh, um, can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of, what kind do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for winding the roaster. 
Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. My mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy wishes tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Because you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. A glass extractor bottle. How much is this? Oh, never mind. This isn't a return for breaking my curse. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handles for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper pie stand, however. Good. Please bring it. All right. I'll write a roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. <gasps> Healing candy. Ooh, fancy. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure. Come back next time. We'll be able to fix, fix the extractor now. But are you going to stay? Are you really going to stay here? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? The... I'll decide when that happens. Because the train does not obviously run on a schedule or anything like that. Like, it's literally, like, impossible to know when the train comes next. We just don't know. We have no idea whatsoever. Right, cat? <laughs> Right, we'll fix the extractor first. Let's do that. And then we can worry about the rest of the things and the whatnots and the stuffs. Right, cats? Cat is like, I don't know. I'm just sitting here in front of chat, blocking your view. Thanks, kitty cat. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the extractor bottle thingy. All right, let's... Should I use the glass bottle? Yeah, for extractor. Yes. Now I can use it. We can finally make potions properly. What do I do now? Did you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make a wheat termination potion, you can get, little, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to get to all of the places that have been blocked off. A little more. So, yeah. In the forest and whatnot. Okay. Let's look through the forest. Got it. Rest and hold a manufacturer. Squeeze! Nope. Don't have enough for that. Oh, don't have enough for that either. It's a bit hard to tell if it's, like, grayed out or not. But I guess tomorrow we're gonna go and grab some ingredients. He's reading chat to you, but only in Meow and Stale Language. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yes, let's go to bed. We're gonna just sleep a casual 11 hours. Kitty cat treats. We did, yeah, yeah, we came out. I, I think that's like a translation thing, but it did also sound like that. But hey, I mean, if we are, that's cool too. <laughs> Right? Uh, go! Good morning! Why are you home? Oh, naughty work clerk! Go with the naughtiest of work clerks. Go, thank you so much for 17 months of support in that tier freaking three resub. That is incredible. Thank you so much. For the support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Mobile Lurk also. Thank you, Goo. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and sneaking in during work hours. You naughty, naughty Goo, you. But then, I'm not surprised. Uh, sleeping 11 hours and spend your, uh, spend your days squishing uh, chubby cheeks. Sounds pretty good to me, too. I know, right? I know. That's how you wake up after 11 hours. Just, ugh. <laughs> what day is it? What's happening? <laughs> I don't think I've slept. Oh god, when was the last time I slept? Slept eleven hours in a row. Oh goodness, I have no idea. You just woke up. Why are you like dead already? <laughs> That's some mood. I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. It seemed like something important, like the principal sermon. That's something I don't want to think about ever again. All right. Okay, we have to draw stuff with our quill. C -caw! A crow? Witch! Caw! It spoke. It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow, of course. The witch returns. The witch returns! 
Is this my first time coming here, though? The witch returns! Not, not exactly a list listener, is he? Goods and services. Car! Goods and services. Witch's catalog! The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards Hylian, young, young lady. But I can't just starve until I re reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to Hylian. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Car! <laughs> car, car, indeed. Uh, hi, Osama. Good to see you. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. They're handing out gifts as well, but it's limited time only. Car! Gifts! Multi purpose glue? Kitchen accessory? A spork? In any case, I need it. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. All right, let's register for now. Thank you, car. Thank you, visit employee. Visit employee. Car, visit employee. <laughs> car, I'm calling from Microsoft. Car, car, I've been trying to call you to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Car. <laughs> and hi, Alove. Good to see you as well. You're late for a very important date. When? Work finished, work finished, closed for the day. Closed for the day. Poof. So, suddenly, I've been trying to call you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. Hmm, and I should, uh, I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witches' catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and fight the village. All right, cool. Is there anything else here that we can, like, categorize? You can definitely tell, though, there has been some work done since we played the demo, and it's a lot more streamlined. And I love it. So far, I'm really enjoying it, I have to say. Squish the cheeks! Squish the cheeks! The eyelid animation? It's so just cute! Hi, Dreadbank! Hi, Carl! Hello, hello! Oh no, they both, they all went in there. You gotta get some coffee. <laughs> Caca, do it. <laughs> I have some hot tea. That doesn't work. Touch everything, yes. Boop them on their snoots and all that sort of stuff. Mm hmm. Shake the tree. Well, there's something in here. Shake it. Huh? I, I don't have a thingy, but I can at least draw you with a quill. The pumpkin lo doggles look like? Same. Bu bush bug. You need a net. Makes home within bushes. They have unchar uncharacteristically large wings for such a tiny body. If you see a moving bush, try to give it a good shake. I know what this is. That's a mokoko seed. Duh. <laughs> That's exactly what that looks like. It's just a Mokoko seat. Okay, there's lots of branches everywhere. I don't necessarily need those. Also, sorry, I've got the hiccups. There's more ter pumpkin terriers. I was trying harvest days. Um, probably more hours from now. Like, I'll, I'll post on the Discord though. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. Still. Uh, this game supposedly has around five hours of content, so we're gonna try and play through that and then switch over. Hey, Dollar, how are you? It's so good to see you. Oh my goodness, it's been hot, like been like a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Hydrate. Cheers. Lucky when you be home. Yeah, I think so. <gasps> the cat has learned. Dang it. So I opened the 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 door through the garden and I just had it like a tiny little bit open like a tiny little tiny little sliver just cracked to let the air in and now the, the, apparently the cat has finally learned that doors that are slightly open you can push to open them properly because he just went outside but oh well hi mangana good to see you it's okay on a scale from 1 to 10 how cute is this game so far 11 you can you can there there are there are there are uh what is it called again squishy squishy chubs and you can squish their cheeks they're so cute 
<laughs> they can got cute overnight. <laughs> hey, raptor shark. Certainly. Stop running away. No, come back here. I need your stuff. Thank you. It has an auto conductor. It's so fluffy, I want to die. Yes. Can I nap here too? No. Can I just, can I not just tank, take this crank? No. Okay, apparently I can't do anything here. Uh, I don't have to use your headphones for work. Bye, you. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for the resub. Pier 3, you freaking boss, you. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Ah, squish the cheeks. I love the little, the little, like, he just does the little jiggle afterwards. It's so cute. Right there with a squishy chub on the well roof? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even see. What? But yeah, we are doing a sponsored segment for it, so if you want to check out the game. Oh yeah, there is one up there. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, there's a link that you can click. Uh, really helps me out if you click it and check out the game. It is currently also 10% off for launch, for early access launch. <laughs> Not like that, Dreadvink. I love it. And then this one and bing. <laughs> Still need to find stuff to record though. Also haven't found anything that um where we have a blocked uh like a pumpkin a honey pumpkin vine vine blocking the path. But maybe I need to get off the plains and into the forest for that. For now, I'm just... Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. That just goes from the other side only, though. And I need the chalk again. I don't know if chalk is a single-use item or not. I wonder. Oh, we can sneak through here, though. Nope. No, we can't sneak through there either. Darn it! <laughs> We're just not allowed. My inventory is full. Well, shucks. I guess it's time to go home and squeeze some things and make extracts. Do I have... I don't have a map, huh? I wonder if I get a map later on. Because I, if I don't get a map, I will so get lost. I can tell you that much already. Also, I know this sign is supposed to be a potion bottle. But it also just kind of looks like Shrek's face. Without his little, you know, antenna, antler things. Mm-hmm. Oh god, mine gonna. <laughs> but yeah, that just looks like Shrek. Or an orc with a flat hat. Yeah, yeah. Or a Donkey Kong. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a potion, but... It's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just a... I just saw that. Hey, Omri! That is indeed true. Not all who wander are lost. I am not lost. Can I make more than one? No. Darn it. Make some tea cucumber. Sounds good. Yeah, I know you went on an adventure. You have returned. Yeah, meow meow. Meow meow to you too. Red Fang, thank you for the holes. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Follow my nose. But my nose is constantly stuffy. And I can't smell anything because allergies. Alright. Meow. Meow. Okay. Two squishy chub. Okay. Four squishy chub. Squishy chub. Oh my god. That's really difficult to say. And then on four. And then hold to craft. I don't have enough space. Allergies. Yeah. Stupid allergies. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the unreadable memo, unreadable memo in here for now. I wonder how big the stacks are. Ten for apples. Oh, I guess the apples and that stuff, that's that's actually food to eat, and that's not a potion ingredient. Uh, hello, Progen. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Good morning. The traveling batteries that have an insane amount of warning labels on them. What kind of batteries are you charging that they come in a fireproof bag? Why are your batteries going to explode? I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Oh, the cat's back. From his adventure. He probably just pooped in the garden. And that's what I'm thinking. That's what he did. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, I am armed with Weed Terminator Potion if I find a pumpkin blocking my way. But for that, I need to find a pumpkin blocking my way. Which I haven't yet. Uh, you're doing well? Awesome. Lithium polymer batteries. Huh. Panas extended outhouse. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. This is where the train happened. But there's nowhere I can go here, right? Oh, I see. I need batteries. Interesting. Okay. So we've read that letter. That was just the conductor. The otter conductor left that for us. Um, and then this just goes here. And now the question is, hmm, there must be a place somewhere where we can go. I'm just not seeing it right now. SP Far, thank you for the host. And MMX, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you. So, you're still here. <gasps> Look, this is the sleeping, sleeping owlbear thing. Poke, poke. Hello. Welcome. Do you need anything? Oh, shop? I don't have any items ready right now. Uh, personal stories? Do you think... Having a lot of money makes you happy. Uh, no, but it makes it easier to do things that make you happy. So in a roundabout way, I suppose. Yes, I guess. Hey, Shine B. Hello. Good to see you. You can buy happiness with money. Really? Deep in the jungle, an old man covered in odd trinkets was selling happiness. Was one of those a wooden image of a monkey, perhaps? Ellie. Well, that damn naturalist, that trash was happiness. Uh-huh. Some people can buy happiness with money, but some people can't. So don't worry about having a lot of money or not. You can be happy either way. That's a very, uh... A very, um... What's the word that I'm thinking about? I don't know. I don't know what word I'm thinking of. <laughs> That's an interesting worldview. There we go. An interesting worldview. How are you doing today, Shine B? Now you can buy money. Yeah, yeah. You just have to go into the jungle and buy it from a man with lots of trinkets. That sure as heck sounds like a scam, though, to me. <laughs> uh, you have... Oh, you have a replica P90 now. I see. I see, I see, I see. I'd rather have a replica that Nick could tell though. Ha <laughs> ha What's oh what's gonna be what's go, what is it going to be for breakfast? I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go, chat. But maybe up here, over to the left. Sausage <laughs> You said sausage biscuits and I had to like remind myself. FG, shine be American. Not British type of biscuits. <laughs> Virgil, look at that. 
It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows any more. What? I'm not even a grown up. Why? We must get rid of it to get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. I guess it can't be helped to get to the new place. I guess I should make weed terminator potion. Yes. I I have one already. It's simply because I've made it once before. Don't forget to remove the nucleus if you want to avoid repeating the same thing. Yes, I already have one. What are biscuits in the UK? Biscuits in the UK are cookies. Well, not cookies per se, but like hard cookies? Like not soft baked cookies, just cookies. Uh, wait, how do I... Hands. Hands, isn't it? Isn't it? You can't, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Skip dialogue. It has a skip dialogue button though. Soft baked, well, traditionally soft baked cookies, like American cookies, like the soft type ones, they don't really exist here. I mean, they exist here, but then they're called cookies. Um, oh, okay, uh, X. Aim. We look so bad at throwing. We just look like we're so, so very bad at throwing. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, can I go through here now? Yes, good. Yeah, those will be like, those will be American cookies. Oh, what's this? Also, why did this not go away? I removed the nucleus. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, I think that just kind of glitched out there a little bit. Acquire. Oh, it's just rocks. And Panda is resting. Okay, we now know where we need to go. Oh, this goes back to the mountaintop. But we kind of need to go to bed anyway, so I need to empty out our inventory. Because our inventory is, once again, so very full. Hmm. I don't remember how to get to my house from here. <laughs> oh, this is a problem. It's one further down, right? Have I quilled the dangle mango? I tried, I couldn't. I think it's because it's food, so I can't. Tangle mango. Oh my god. Where? <clears throat> maybe the right side knows. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Also, hi Naomi. Pet the uh, pet the kitty. Hi Viking. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much, a Viking, for 24 months. That is two freaking years of support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for keeping up your stuff for that long. Also, uh, Viking is so good at sleeping. Viking can do it with their eyes closed. Okay, so to do this, I need to have it in my inventory. That's what I was wanting to know. Well done. Off to the pungent with you. And thank you so much for the support. All right, there we go. Emptying out my pockets. Is... Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much, though. I really appreciate it. Yes, go to sleep. Is there a 1% chance that the otters boop their heads together in the animation? No, no, I'm sorry. Now there's fur everywhere. I how I don't know how the how the cat still has fur on its body because he just uh, FG's bag hide the redacted. <laughs> uh, sorry, I jinxed it. Totally jinxed it. I apologize. I don't even know why. It's not like I did anything. Ooh, burbs. Can I, can I? <gasps> you have like a little... <gasps> no, I was just... They have a little sprout on their head. They're so cute. Why is everything in this game so cute? <gasps> I 
It's a little flower! It grows. I'm just trying to draw them. It's fine. It's fine, you can just stay there. You got a bill for power and heating of under 500 euros incoming? Oh no! Hey Mortuvis, good to see you. Is that like year's end um, stuff? What the heck are you? A sprout bird, of course. Of course it's a sprout bird. A common bird found in the green forest. The sprout on its head will shrivel up or bloom with flowers. If they drop their flowers behind, would you scare them away? If well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Ah. Yeah, that sucks, my gonna ouch. I don't know if anybody was up to was about eight hundred dollars per month. Jeez. Ow. Ow, that sucks. That's expensive. Because you're on an oil furnace. Yeah, but 800? How big? Uh, do you have like a big house or something? Because $800 a month. Ouch. That sucks. Massively. For about three to four months. The unit messed up a bit late. The build's a bit late. Oh, I see. Have to try burning down your house instead. I know, right? I know. Hey, so uh, so you're an order sim. Hey, Corey. Hello. You bought just you bought it on your house because your previous one was too small for the waifu. Gotcha. Ouch. That sucks. Hope that doesn't break your budget. Because that would suck. Can I not go up here? I can. <gasps> That's a pretty flower. Can I not do anything with a pretty flower? Oh, I can't do anything with a pretty flower. Hmm. Am I quite a bit tighter? Yeah. Oh, I found one of those. Victoria's. Oh my god, they're so cute. I didn't see it the first time because um, the cat was in front of it. And no, stop dry trying to drink my tea cats. I swear. Ah, oh, this kitty cat. This cat, I swear. Okay. Oh, the clouds come back. Okay. <laughs> There's a crack in your budget. Oh, is that another one? I don't know why. You know what they remind me of? The um the when they when they stop and like freeze for a second before they run off of the um uh what they're called from Final Fantasy. Ooh, what you what kind of food are you ordering today? I haven't had a chat with Lex about this, but uh I am very much in favor of today being um a pizza day. Yes, I think so. No yeah, no the, the no that one, that one, yeah, what 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 uh Roger called said cactuars yeah because they do the they have the same powers that they strike cactuars or whatever they're called oh come on what or was that one lower i don't remember which one we did i think it was one lower right the animation is a bit similar yeah 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 Crispy, good morning. Hello. I need to move this. Crispy, thank you so much for 14 months of support. I really appreciate it. Good morning. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? How is everything? How are the how is the, the little ones and all that sort of stuff? 
It's good to see you. Sneaky. All right. Thank you so much for the support, though. I really appreciate it. Thank you. These are some pretty lights. <gasps> it's a fox! In a rub rum. Wherever there's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know him. Ah! They woke up. Who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. A witch? Whoa, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. He's a murderer. I know, right? Been up since like 4 30 for various reasons. Oh no. Hopefully you can sneak in a nap later. Hey, my name is Rubrum. I live in the village with my grandma. But now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. The hat talks, yeah. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful with dealing with spider webs, Ellie. It looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you'll get stuck yourself. Then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. If it is maple herb, I have it. This should work. Like this. Oh. Oh, that was effective. But a, a spider web is not an insect. But anyways. Are you okay? Yeah. Probably. Can you walk? Okay. Then let's go to the witch's house together. Hello. Any interesting... St oh, okay. No, I would just going now oh yeah they're following me oh they're so cute magic not logic okay yeah i love the murder reference it's an actual reference i have never heard of that uh before hey rochella what is that reference tell me tell me i want to know wait that goes a different place because that goes here what is that a reference to Oh, you just mean... Oh, I see, I see. You mean the murder reference. The red rum. Okay. I'm not sure if that was... Intentional. Oh, what's the matter? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You were probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a treatment at the witch's house. Oh, we're we just carrying him. Oh, Yeah, that's what I was thinking of as well. But why does that mean he's a ginger? That's what's confusing me. Yeah, but why does that mean he's a ginger? Right, cat? I'm sorry, cat. I uh, I know you love to rest your head on my controller, but I'm using the controller right now. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Fair enough, of course. Really? Just stop talking. Okay. Um, does he have a soul though? Hopefully, Commander Red? Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, I I see. I didn't know I don't even think about um uh la languages. Like I was just going with like murder or just I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Our village is just a little further from here, but you cannot pass through now because of the prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah, that's not even what I was thinking about. <laughs> I have to admit. But that's true. It is, yes. We're almost there. We're so slow. Block. We're here. Whoa, a witch's house. Thanks. Oh, now you start, your legs suddenly work. It's very suspicious, mate. How's your leg? It still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Well, really? I'll make sure to get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg. Rubrum, wait here a moment. Oh, yeah, we need to make healing candy, I think. We are strong. Yeah. We are strong. Oh, wait. No, we got the... She, she gave us the recipe. Oh. 
Oh, it went in here for some reason. Yeah, I, I know, I know the recipe. How do I... Good morning, Sakoon. Hello. How do I read it, though? Oh, do I go to one of these other things here? Maybe. Maybe here? Use. I hope I get to work on something here later. It's pretty useless now, though. Hmm. But... But... I have... I have the thing. I have the re uh, the recipe. Hey, Elle. Hello, hello. Where do we learn the recipe? Uh -huh. No, this is just saving. Because I don't want to move it. And we ha we have we literally have the recipe. That's just water, I think. I think that's just supposed to be water. I assume our potions are water based. Cuz I don't go here. Hmm. How do I Okay, wait. View controls. Notes, encyclopedia. Walk, move. Oh, why is open inventory? Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. All right, now we know. <laughs> we did get a fox friend. Healing candy. A mint flavored candy for kids. Be sure to store it on a high shelf in a tin. Can, since it's, since it's addictive? A mint flavored candy for kids that is addictive. Oh boy. Okay, which flower extract? Maple herb extract. Serenam! Serenam, thank you so much for 26 months of support at tier two, you freaking boss. Thank you so much. For the support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well today. It's good to see you. Hello. Thank you for the support. The ball looks unhealthy. It does, doesn't it? How are you doing today? All right. So, witch flower extract, maple herb, stage four, and then stir the ladle right. Or, and then a ladle direction is right. That means right, right? It's on the right. I assume it means right. Maybe they mean addictive as in yummy candy. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully? Hopefully. Alright, here. I've got some candy for you. Come into my house! I have candy for you. This is so <laughs> bad. Would you like to try this? What is this? Is this candy? Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. Thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Oh, this tastes awful. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. The candy tastes awful, though. How did you get caught in the spider web in the first place? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by, and by then the giant prickly veins were covering the vines were covering the way. I guess in a way, true. Mm -hmm. You're starting a headache again. No, Theron and Bam. No. No. Hey, hi to go, Bim Bam. Good to see you. Hi, Naomi back. Hello. You write all your jokes in capitals. This one was written in Sydney. Jokes on you. Sydney is not a capital. So, so, fact checked. Because Sydney's not a capital. At least not the capital of Australia. So therefore, your joke. Ha! Yes. Is the capital of New South, South Wales. That doesn't count. That's just the state capital. You said capital. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. <laughs> I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. 
It must be the one I was riding. I went towards the train and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have been the bird, not the train. It was that bird, the Gaga bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and I got caught in a spider web as I was trying to pick it up. Treasure map? Hi, hearty. I said capital, yeah. Uh, you would not say capital means I've put it. <laughs> capital, capital. The thing is, in British English, they sound very similar. Capital, capital. There you go. Because they don't say capital, capital. I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak with an American accent. It's just not working. So there you go. <laughs> capital. Uh, let's just, let's just not have a, because theoretically there's not even a vowel in there because it's just capital. Mm -hmm. I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? What about the gigantic prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do much about it yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little bit more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Sure, but be careful. Thanks. Well, wow, he's just following me now. All right. Sure. Um, also... Uh, you see multi answer predictions. No, they just added that. Uh, you can have up to 10 answers now in predictions. They've added that, which is cool. Because not everything is just, you know, either yes or no, which is really cool. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Um... I don't remember what I was going to say. I played the demo last year in June. So it's been basically almost a year. No, Scarpy. No, I need to I need to scruff your cheeks. Yes, this is the Early Access release, which is out now. Came out today in Early Access. And we're doing a sponsored stream for it. So exclamation mark, which right there, you can click it and you can see it on Steam. And it has a 10% discount. Mm-mm. Yeah, the, the fox is definitely not following me just for candy. No. All good. This is definitely totally 100% legit. No problem. I really just stopped picking up all of these applesauce. I mean, I could just eat the applesauce. I wonder if I can cook stuff later on. Because you can, you can get, like, stamina back with them. But I assume max stamina is only resting. <laughs> Sorry, I am just I'm just gonna pronounce that name like that. Uh Vas, thank you so much for the follow. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Should have eaten the fox. No, he's adorable. Just very slow. Hey Jason! Hello! The fox is just a wee bit slow. Now we come back here! Move on over! No! Stop running away! Mine! Ha! Perfect. It is probably bedtime. And then... I don't know! Maybe we'll go where the spider was. Because apparently there were pirates there. Though I always saw, thought uh, X marks the spot, not like... I'm not sleepy yet. Oh, I can go to bed no later than 8 o'clock, uh, no earlier than 8 o'clock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ellie, it's time to get up. Where did you go, Virgil? It's just in your head. Why are you talking nonsense after a good night's rest? What? You weren't there. Stop sleep talking. Wash your face. <laughs> What's the... Was it just a dream? Have a good work, L. Wait, didn't you? Wait. Oh. Oh, you there you are. Yes, mine gonna. You just do it all the time. Oh, you hit that and enter twice. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. She's the, the hat. The hat's named Virgil and the hat talks.
Uh, so with these birds, what you do is you wait until they eat their flower is there and then you scare them and then they drop a flower sometimes maybe would it be okay if you post a picture of your airsoft in discord oh that should oh they dropped it that should be okay yeah just make sure to clearly label it as not a real gun <laughs> mm-hmm Uh, what's with the fox following uh we freed this is this is rubrum uh our new friend and uh, we freed him from a giant spider web and um we healed his leg by giving him candy and uh now we're going to explore the area behind the giant spider web and he has to come with us so we said of course we said yes we also got him hooked on addictive candy yep well, I'm, I have a feeling we might still meet the giant spider. Potentially. What's this? My inventory is full. No, your inventory is full. This is... A boom potion! I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make one. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton designed as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. Hi, Giggles. Good morning. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go and try it right away? Oh, boy. <laughs> Apparently, we found a boom potion. Oh, boy. Sorry, that was me. I missed this feeling. Did you plan to destroy every... Uh, do you plan to destroy everything on the top of getting into trouble? Hey, what'd you take me for? Boom potion. Don't you feel the um, almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it, thinking that it's treasure, like Rubrum. Or some- Oh, he walked all the way here! Oh, that's so adorable! <laughs> or someone might have spilt it. The boom potion? Ugh, I don't know. The important thing is now that we, we have it. Go, boom potion. Whoa, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet. Well, that didn't work out. Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm. Well. Oh, would you, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Okay. So we can ask these people about it. Bigger boom time. We get so excited about stuff. But then to be fair, we've been locked away in a magical school. You know, we've basically we've been locked away in Hogwarts all of our time. And now we're suddenly an adult and we can use magic. Would you not be excited about blowing things up? Maybe? Just a little bit? Just a little bit, right kitty cat? Just a little bit. Kitty cat is sleeping right below uh, chat right now, by the way. For some reason, he's never done it before, but now he's suddenly found like this place on the desk that he wants to lie on. And now he's just sleeping there. That's just me, but. <laughs> it's very strange. He's never done it like this before, but now he's just sleeping on the desk. Well then. All right, uh, you there, Rubrum. Hello, any interesting stories? No, I'd like you to talk about, you. I'd like to talk to you about your uh, large prickly vine splinter extended warranty. The school's relief we missed the train probably. Yeah, I think so too. Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great, goodbye. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for your help, mate. Uh, welcome. Do you need anything? Yes, talk to me about the large prickly vine splinter in your pocket. Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh, this is a fragment of that prickly vine. Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about it. But I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? 
Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. That's helpful. That's very helpful. Also, Psycho, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon, if the moon's still embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it! I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Oh, that's great. Alrighty, here it goes. Uh, no, we didn't actually. Aha. Uh -huh. What? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? <laughs> no, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and then analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? <gasps> it seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember. Avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. But how has it been here all during the nights then? Because it, it's not like it can... Like, it's been there all night when the moon was out. Raisins. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, true. Uh, I think I've also heard about plants like this. <laughs> Maybe it needs concentrated moonlight. Yes, let's go with that. Let's go with that. It needs concentrated moonlight. Mm -hmm. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work. Uh, do you need anything? Nope. No, we're good now. See you next time. Goodbye. Yeah, it's also... Well, I mean, it is, mo it is sunlight reflected by the moon. So... Theoretically magically if you want to speak about it it is slightly different because it's sunlight that's then reflected by the moon and then comes back to earth so magically speaking you could probably argue in the lore that it's different but irl yeah exactly <laughs> also hi johnny drop tables that's no moon it is no moon i think this is just part of her sleigh but we did find a a gifty thingy this stuff you info. A black acorn with white stripes, a thin red leaf in the shape of a ribbon rests on top. It's used as a rare ingredient. Are we secretly Sailor Moon? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I wish people would stop saying the dark side of the moon. Well, I mean, the dark side of the moon is just a moon that's not facing Earth. But it's not necessarily just dark. The non the atmosphere of the moon is changing the sunlight to moonlight. Correct. Um, it's the far side of the moon. <laughs> Didn't we have... There's a drawers in the witch's house to find information about the moonflower. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Theranum. Okay, time to rummage through things. I hope I get to- oh, okay. Nothing here. Maybe in here then. But wait, we have the thingy. We have the, the thingy, don't we? And when I say thingy, I mean we have... Eh, no, this way. We have that one. The unread memo. No memo written in an unintelligible language. Use it. I don't know what kind of text this is. You'll learn it at school. Oh. Hmm. You don't mean the far side it annoys you. So basically what you're saying is this is a hill you're willing to die on. Also, the cat just pressed tab and opened my inventory thingy. There. I swear, this cat is just too smart sometimes. The way he dopes around, he's just too smart. Okay, nothing there. 
nothing here that we can do with. Oh, maybe the books. I thought in a couple of minutes until it comes up. <laughs> he was magically hovering over the elevator. Let's get this started. Oh yeah, the bookshelf. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining, keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only, come on, look at the size of these. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Of course, we're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree. Bitter grape tea tree. That's a tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves. Blah, 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 blah. Tastes like grape. Strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. It is also famous for its flowers. The moonflower. Moonflower. So it was here. There's still more information. It gathers moonlight most of the time. And on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around it. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, it's a commonly used method. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, shoo them away and collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies, make lunar's oil and remove the prickly lines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a, shun a sunlight potion should work. Okay, that's a very roundabout way of doing it. Why don't we just make a bug net? <laughs> but sure, I'll make a potion. I'll make a potion, no problem. <laughs> um, sunlight potion, there we go. Witch flower extract, maple herb extract, and a squishy chub extract. Okay. Mm, but what if we catch the butterflies and bring them through the vine? That would be, yeah. The boom potion would also probably be effective against the butterflies. True, though we might also, um, at that point, uh, you know, make the tree go boom. Which is probably not ideal. Cocoon moon, hello. How's it going? Good to see you. And, uh, Perverse Kaiser, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing today? Thanks for being here. Um, so yeah. Yeah, why not, right? Why ever not? This is fine, no problem. Alright. Uh Bongo Auto. Copium! <laughs> why is the extractor so grumpy? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Witch flower, maple, and squishy chub. Witch flower. Okay, I have squishy chub. Wait, what did I just. Oh, move all. I'm gonna put, just put this in there, I'm gonna put that in there, and then we're just gonna make a witch flower. And then we hold it and squeeze it. It just goes, ah! Which one? Maple, squishy, stage five, and stir right. Off we go. Please don't go boom. This potion emits a blinding flash of light that has the power of the sun. Very useful when chasing away creatures that have eyes. Hi, Mighty Wrath! You brought tea. And chocolate hobnobs for everybody. Dang. Let's go. Ellie, the lunar oil is... Don't worry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Did you do everything you want to do? Let's go. There's nothing more to do. Let's go. Okay, apparently we're going. How are you doing, Mighty Wrath? It's called radiation. Great, there starts the tree as expected. Wow, there are tons of shining butterflies. Oh my god, look at his eyes. Oh, he's so cute. You're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. All right, here goes. Monia! Holy moly! Fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight, never running from a real fight. 
She is the one named Sailor Moon. <laughs> Why do you think it's so much for the thousand bits? <laughs> Fighting evil by moonlight. And then I'm going to stop because DMCA, but yeah, mm -hmm, indeed. <laughs> nice one. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. That's really generous of you. Thank you so much. All right, here goes. By moonlight. Boosh. That looks not like sunlight. Whoa. Whoa, that is a blinding flash of light. Holy crap. Uh, holy crap. Oh, that's so pretty, though. That's so pretty now, though. Thank you so much, though. I really, really appreciate it. It's beautiful. Where did the butterflies go? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower. Oh, over there. Over there. I don't see. Oh, there they're falling. It's so beautiful! Everything's so well. Yeah, right? So well, quote unquote. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Incorrect, but thank you. Uh. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Now we can just pick up moon the moonflower and make lunar oil. Rubrum, can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the moon oil is ready. Okay, I'll be waiting in front of the vines. She was, yeah. All right, let's go to the dispensary now. I should make it. Oh no, I'm not picking up the rest. Uh, your prime isn't ready to use yet. Rude! No, all good. I'm going. I'm doing all right. Thank you. I think, I hope you haven't forgotten. For Luna's oil, you need phoenix feather. There's no way we can find a phoenix around here. We have a phoenix feather right here. You told me about it earlier. What? Oh, Ellie, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. We might not make it to Hylian at all. A witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it the most. That one again? You just like it here better. Well, of course I do. You just don't like the witch's house in Hylian. That's true. Stop being charges. You're going to regret it later. No, I won't. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. You gotta be smart about it. Ugh. Welp. Speaks for the powder. There goes our train ticket. Thank you again so much, Monia, though, for the thousand bits. That's really generous. Thank you. Great. I have all the ingredients now. Ellie, it's just worse than Aria sometimes. I think that's our mother, Aria. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That wasn't a compliment. All right, now let's make it. Let's make the Luna's oil. All right, let's see. There we go. Luna's oil, moonflower water. Put one moonflower in the extractor and squeeze it. And then put one Phoenix feather powder in as is. All right. Time to squeeze it. My inventory is full. Okay, time to not squeeze it. <laughs> um, I guess that goes in there. Doug, holy Constantine. Good morning. Hello, hello. Oh, this is a storage chest for other things. I see, I see. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Whoosh. Yeah, me too, cucumber. Moonflower water. And the phoenix feather powder. Stage one, no stirring. Oh, no stirring. And then stage one. I'm doing great, thank you. I'm having a great day. A person that made strong moonlight and contains the power of the moon. Yeah, we made. We we just. I think we just grew Sailor Moon in a in a cauldron. I think that's what we did. Let's go get rid of the prickly vine now. I'm here. Now let's hurry up and get rid of these annoying vi vines. Hi, Ranger. Good morning. Mm, huh? Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Don't worry about it. This was my choice, what I really wanted to do. Ammonia already did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is my choice. Pew! Thanks, Ellie. It's not a big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay? Yeah, I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. 
Really? Wait, really, really? Really? Keep up the good work. Okay, you, you do too. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. See you in a bit. Well then. Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say stuff that makes me sound like the bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all if I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter, that's what they'll say. Shine B, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday. And hopefully work doesn't suck too much. Thanks for hanging out. Right, cat? Cat's like, oh, maybe. I already told you, it is not a compliment. All right, let's head to the village now. At 10.20 p.m.? Um, no, how about we go to bed now? <clears throat> For now. And then we can always work on that later. Bum, bum, bum. Is the hats? School's... No, we... We, uh, in ha... But, oh, come on, really? But it's 10.20 in the evening! Nobody's gonna open their door to us! Um... Yes, the hangout is today. Um, the hat was handed down to us from our mother. And it's just a very prickly hat. It's like the sorting hat, just grumpy. Like, extremely grumpy. I finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. There will be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Begin our apprenticeship. Well then. Um, it's quite a dull sight. Virgil. That was a village that you have to stay in for three years. Do you feel like going back to Hylian again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine doing? I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. In the neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ellie. No Ghostbusters here, just Ellie. Your Twitch notifications have a prime sub to you, so I don't see the option to use it. There is always like a, a period in between where there's a break, but the way you use it nowadays, I don't know if you've done it since the changes. You have to click on sub and then use free sub. You can't directly just use the sub. You have to click on like sub to subscribe to the channel and then check the little box where it says huge free twitch prime sub and then you can do it it's a bit weird yeah it's a bit bit wonky it's strange for anyone to see the pretty vines growing only on houses and something seems strange that's not what i meant it feels like i've been here before for some reason what kind of uses double meaning is that there's no way you've ever been here they don't come this far for the witch school picnic something feels familiar let's find rubrum first Whoa, this is so broken. Hi! Oh, Ellie! Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special, but it really looks like no one is in the village. Yeah, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Arden's in my house. I see. You must be bored. Oh, it's okay because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma would like to meet you. Must need to wait longer, maybe. There's no check mark yet. Ugh. Oh. Twitch. Why? <laughs> Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief. They say not in these times. But she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Take care. Call you now. Ellie is the witch of the house and she got back to the future. It's maybe. Maybe. Wait, how is your grandma a guard? Ram thing. Wait, how does this... But, um... How does this work, genetically speaking? <laughs> Adoption? I guess that works, yeah, true. Yeah, if the mother was secret the forest witch before her, yeah, maybe. But then wouldn't the hat remember? If the mother was the forest witch first. I would assume the hat's been here before. Or like any magazine? Magic? Maybe magic. Welcome, witch. Don't question it! 
<laughs> You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. No, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably with me. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. All right, I shall speak comfortably. Oh, that's so cute. It's like, because this is translated into English from... Gosh, I don't, I don't know where the deaths are from. But they're Asian. So they were the whole... She was using polite language to talk to her which obviously doesn't exist in english so they had to like make like a weird way around that that's why this little bit of like conversation just happened with the whole you can speak comfortably with me which means basically you don't have to use polite language to talk to me you're older than me i have to use polite language with you not the other way around <laughs> you have to wait an hour between prime subs here it's so strange That's really cute. Welcome to Visteria. I'm Enite. She is it Enite? Enit? Enity? Enity? I, I don't know how to say this name. They're from Pusan. Oh, so they're Korean. Okay, fair enough. Then yeah, Korean absolutely makes 100% sense. Then chief of this village, even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. That makes sense then uh, that a bajillion Korean streamers were streaming this game. E night? You think it's E night? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's E night. Does she ride on a like virtual horse? <laughs> like a, you know, like esports instead of, instead of esports though she does E nighting. <laughs> it's virtual. Um, uh, Maybe. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape, what happened? What are those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yeah, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago... Wait. Three years ago? But the big one didn't grow three years ago, right? Like, Re R R Rubram wasn't stuck in the forest for three years, right? Ellie doesn't have a broom, right? She has a magic room, but hopefully, yeah. Uh, no, not yet, Mangana. But I don't think it will do, because they're Korean. And Koreans don't really do that. That's more of a Japanese thing. Those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? Actually, there were already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first they were saying things like God's punishment, monsters, or witch's curse. I think so, Cucumber. Yeah. Why if you drool, Ellie? It's just a serious story! <laughs> She's like, Oh my god, this is amazing! I've waited for this all my life. There were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The pretty vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. No, only Art and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry now, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly wines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that, but it's too late. What? All the houses have been ruined already and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets that are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go to. But I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want. But I'll leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen! Not on my watch! Never! Hylian is boring as hell! Wait, what? Virgil, bad word! Ellie! There are no more people here. Even if the pretty vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village! Even if the people who had left... Uh, oh, even the people who had left would want to come back after I'm done with it. Even if the pretty vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back! <laughs> but Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No! They definitely won't want to come back! <laughs> the hat just said it was boring, yeah. I think I think the hat might be secretly on our side now. <laughs> it's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life. E night. <laughs> I can't let the village get taken away by these weird prickly vines. Yeah, you're right, but... Let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. 
I'm. Um, you look tired too. Rubrum looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Rubrum too much. Yeah. Get some rest. You too, E Knight. <laughs> The little witch has the best grumpy face. I know. Yes, absolutely. Kibs, I've been seeing you so much for 47 months of support. That is incredibly long. That's ridiculous. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for keeping up your sub for that long. That is that is incomprehensibly long. And hey, Fallon, the game is out. Yes, it is out in early access. So we are doing a sponsored stream for it. It is available. You can click the bit.ly link, take you to Steam. It's currently 10% off, but it is early access. So it's not finished. Maybe the hat is just a second personality because something happened while she time traveled. Mm, maybe. Ellie, what are you trying to do? Enid is right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no houses. Mm. Yep, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure? This is your first time here. If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where'd you hear that? You didn't even see one. That... I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream. Hey, Arisha. Welcome. How's it going? Hello, hello. That's absurd. No. It's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that Enid has lived in for all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as her. You know, you also just met Enid for the first time. And I could tell, even if we met for the first time, there was some kind of throbbing feeling. <laughs> Sometimes the writing in this is so great. Oh, perfect. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. Hey, Tariq. Hello. You're right. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It would be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> what did you come into? Uh, deaths that are not native English speakers. So there are some translation... Creativities. But it's fine. It's humorous and it's cute and it's adorable. And so far we've been really enjoying it. Or at least I have. Arishel, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. Maybe. But shh. We don't talk about that. Um, in order to meet that kind of... Okay. Stop being sarcastic. Mm. Crumple. Anyways. Off we go. I was really kind of afraid that maybe the game would end when we unlock the village. But it seems like it's not. And that's really good. I like it. Uh, I think Bridget's name is a reference with a divine comedy with... What with him trying to lead you somewhere? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Did you meet the flying carpenter? Oh, no. It seems like I had a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something? This is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. So are you ready to start your first day? Of course. Do you know what to do? Let me ask what Enid thinks first. Although she will naturally approve, it will start for the moment she approves. Yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have any phoenix feather left. It will work out somehow. Let's go to Enid first. And her name is forever shall be known now as Enid, by the way. Over there! I think someone's arrived! Whoa! You're right! Oh, hi! Who are you? Diane. Hello! This is the witch's catalogue that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. How freaking convenient! This is Diane Greenwin, who brings happiness. Nice to meet you! Yes, hello! I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yes, nice to meet you! What I must help you with today is... Oh, you're registering for the first time. Yes, that's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalogue. Just a minute. 
Thank you for waiting. So I need to see the Master Witch before registering. Is she inside? Um... The ma Master Witch? Yes, I need the Master Witch signature to register in the Witch's catalog. Oh, that... Um... Um... I'm... Hey, Ellie! Uh-huh. Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them? Uh, no, I didn't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the Master Witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through that hat? Yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the Witch's catalog employees come. employee comes. I I'm sorry, I was just about to tell you. Uh, oh, sure. Then I guess Ellie can just sign it because the Master Witch is here. She is slightly terrifying, um, Diane, that is. She has the, the, the star in her eyes, terrifying look going on. Also, for some reason, one of her, like, te tooth, just, none of her teeth just looks like she has a fang. <laughs> Hi, Mecca Kaysay, good to see you. Hello, hello. How are you doing? You also receive a gift if you join now. Whoa, a gift, what is it? What is it? A witch's broom that's easy to use. <gasps> a broom? Finally! You can just sign here and here and just a minute. Yes, that's it. Then I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Please explain. Every morning a witch's catalog employee will come. In this case, it'll be me. I'm planning to be here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just purchase the items you need from me during that time. We do not accept gold coins, only accept lunar coins. What is that thing called lunar coin? Lunar coin is the currency used in witch society. Hi, Bio! Good to see you! How are you doing today? Hello, hello! <clears throat> it's called Luna Coin because it is made of an ore with the power of the moon! Don't you know already that since you were also raised in the Witch Society Alley? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I don't think I called money something else in my life. After all, only Luna Coins are used in Witch Society. But how do I earn Luna Coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna Coins to buy stuff. Well, basically, yeah, I guess so. The Witch Administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incidents. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of the type. Ah, I can sell potions to the per merchant. Merchants carry different items and currencies you can sell using the shop keyword in the dialogue. Is it your only one of the fangs showing because it's supposed to look cute? Maybe. Maybe. For some reason, her character reminds me of uh, some VTuber avatars that I've seen. <laughs> Alright, got it. And there's also the special potion delivery service. And every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select out of the three in the list provided deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose the nice opportunity. Oh, so it's like a, a questy thing. Like, give me, sell me X potions in two days and you get more money for them. Cool, cool, cool. Do you have any more questions? No, not anymore. All right, then feel free to talk to me if you need anything. Um, go ahead. The gift? Right. I'll give it to you now. A broom! A broom given us a freebie. It's old, but still useful. <gasps> a broom! Finally, my own broom! Witch's broom. <gasps> Have a nice day! This has been Diane Greenwind of the Witch's Catalog. Do you think it went well? Yes, it looks like the urgent fire is out. How was my acting? You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was all an act! Being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you, I'm good at acting. I love how it's like we're having this conversation while we're standing right next to Diane, who we just lied to. <laughs> not you poor acting, but the fact that the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We can't just have an Apprentice Witch. Can't you just keep acting? How long will it work? And there's still the Master of the Witch who was originally here at the Witch's house. It would be nice if we know who that witch is. The witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver potions with the broom from now. We need to get to E-Night. Oh, you're right, but there's no need for urgency. The potion I request is an apprenticeship that you choose to do as needed. If you opt to refuse such apprenticeships, you can use the keyword to do it later. Ah, okay. So, B. Oh, I can't do I don't think I can get... I, I don't think I can do it here. <clears throat> uh, Diane. Hmm, Diane? Grr. 
Diane! Hello, this is the witch's card that gives you most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane to bring you happiness. Oh, it's you, Ellie. Welcome. I'm sorry that was unprofessional of me. Did something happen? I'm not sure if it's okay to tell you this since we just met. What is it? Maybe we can help. Do you remember the potion purchase service? Yes. Recently, there have been several reports of bad potions. Trust in the witch's catalog's potion quality. Trust in the administration. As a result, the administration issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test the suspicious potions. The problem is the witch's house I'm in charge of are related... Uh, the witch's... The witch houses I'm in charge of, that's, that's a weird way of saying that, uh, are related to the suspicious potions. As you know, Ellie, potion quality is also a matter of a witch's confidence. You can't do it yourself? I need a witch to accompany with a test for certification. If it's alright, may I ask for your help? It's a small reward, word, but I made some nubicular cupcakes. <gasps> nubicular cupcakes? My mom would always buy one for me on the weekend if I'd been good for the week. So naturally, I've hardly had any so far. <laughs> yeah. uh... All right, I'll help. Thank you. Please take this first. A person that temporarily supplies a large amount of nutrition to a plant. And, oh God, am I going to, oh God, what am I doing with this? A bird cage? To start testing as soon as possible, I also caught a sprout bird. You can throw the nutrition potion to the sprout bird. When the results appear, please gather them and take a look. Then I'll record the details like the date, weather, time, wind direction, etc. Also, please let me know if you make a bad throw. You're very serious about it. Use quick slot. X. Aim. Left trigger. Throw while aiming. Pew! One, two, three, four. Four new flowers have bloomed. Hmm. Moderate temperature, mild wind, low humidity. Great, fortunately the potions here seem normal. It went well, right? Yeah, we can relax now, as at least one of them is normal. This is the reward I promised you, Nubicular Cupcakes. A witch's cupcake. A bird in high demand, made by the popular witch bakery, Nubicular. Oh my god, it has a little hat on! It's so cute! Even the tacky witch hat decoration can't stop you from savoring the de It's not tacky, it's cute! Wow, boo game. Boo! Boo! I tell you. Hooray! I requested this as a test this time, but using potions to collect will be much more convenient. Sarah's are saying that the witch's house, which supplies the most potions every year, uses just as much. Just about using potions can be found in the encyclopedia. Ah, okay. Got it. Yes. Thank you for your help. Have a nice day. <laughs> tacky, they're not tacky, B hacks. You're tacky. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I can just pick these up. <gasps> I get these all for free. No, sorry. Hello, do you have any questions? Uh, I would like to hit up the shop. <laughs> you're tacky. Which is calc. What is upgrading a work tool? You can improve the tools used for processing, crafting, using better tools. Make more stuff. Be sure to give it a try. No, I need to upgrade my... I need to... I want to upgrade my backpack. Uh, witch's catalog. Only cares the items approved for the witch association. A witch's cupcake. Yum, yum. Nutrition potion. Twinkle, twinkle juice. <gasps> a bug net. Earmuff potion. Witch's white chalk. A witch's bug net. This item costs three. Yes. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yay, I have a bug net. All right. Uh, do you have any questions? Nope, I'm good. Goodbye. Cool. So we've got this. And we've got... Um... I had to use it first for the first time and now I can just be on my oh god oh god you actually have to like drive this thing oh lord <laughs> oh god this is dangerous this is very dangerous Chad who let me on a broom who let me go on a be on a broom this is very dangerous oh oh it just appears if you've seen transition okay who let me on a broom sorry coming through <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with this? Looks like we need to dig... 
the Abram grave for the twelfth time. What? That's not it. The durability is just low. I barely wrote it too. Oh. Oh, it broke. The game is my spirit animal. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. We're scam. We're not scamming her. We still give her money and stuff. We just maybe haven't told her that we don't actually have a master witch around us. Hmm. I think there was a good workbench at the workplace. I can fix it there. All I need is a branch or a mud. Okay, branch or mud. I have branches. So, oh yeah, bottom left corner has broom durability. Well, I guess I won't use my broom as much then. So weird. There is there is a little bit like in certain scenes there's like screen lag. It's very weird. But I think it might just be um like low frame rate issues because early access. It also might just be limited to 30 FPS, but then also not because some of the animations they don't seem 30 FPS. So I don't know, it's weird. Nothing. But ruins here as well. No, I didn't wanna I wanted to talk to you. There we go. <laughs> Caracas. You brought a pen that can write underwater, but it can write other words as well. Uh, off to the pungent with you. Off to the pungent with you, I swear. I swear. Mm -hmm. Off with you. Uh, you have notifications happen normally for the most part. Audio cutoffs are so random that you haven't figured a solution. Oh, okay. Is the belt on her hat kind of wrong with a loose end coming from the left? Um, not if you then thread the loose end round again. So imagine if there's. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's just, like, looped around again. Hello, e -Night. Hello, did you sleep well? I thought about it uh, yesterday. I'm still not sure. The villagers. Yeah, you mean they would want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me when I lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in that house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry. It won't happen. Ellie, you're so nice. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Yeah, I guess so. So who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the house. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla, who is a carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact her. Leave it to me. I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. All right, let's get this started. Keep in mind that we don't have information, nor do we have a phoenix. The first thing to do is collect information. Let's look around Carl's home house and collect information. Let's think about the phoenix later. All right. Wait, how is there still smoke coming out of this house? Or is this... Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's a freaking crocodile. <laughs> Infinity Simplex, thank you for the host. It's a crocodile, this is amazing. Hi. Or a dragon, because he's got horns. A dragon crocodile chef. Heh, you're a witch. I don't know though. Is he though? I'm not sure. Depends on whether or not, I, I don't know. Could be both. Dragons don't usually have horns, do they? I'm Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden. Oh, no, he apparently he is a dragon. Nope, he says it. He says it. All right. Never mind. Never mind. He's apparently a dragon. All right. And a cook. Did you help Rob Rum? Uh, you're pretty kind. Don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? I think I'll. Sorry. Uh, why are you staring at me like that? I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Hey, Batsu. Hi, Tanlana. Are there 12 villages? I don't 
don't know. I don't know how many there are. Normally you wouldn't see one. Even mom said that she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure. But you're a real dragon. I never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dra dragons have no reasons to mingle with humans, I think I was like that too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes. Because I don't remember. It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. Although it's usually not for free. Alright, this is for helping Rubrum. Take it, since it's free. Beef bread. Piping hot bread made by Arden. The crunchy bread holds moist beef and vegetables inside. <gasps> it's a dumpling. Mm. Take it, it's the last one remaining. Hey you, do you promise to get rid of the prickly vines? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, but will you be able to do it? Of course, I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. That's some confidence. Okay, what's going on? Nothing. That's it. Goodbye. And that's all for now. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Repair the broom. Investigate the prickly vines. All right. We can theoretically like remove all of the all the weeds here. No, that's her house. Where's the other one? I guess it's I guess it is actually this one, isn't it? This must be the house of a person named Kyla. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding it. Now that we know the location, let's ask the other villagers. Hmm, okay. I want to quickly go and repair stuff. Do I have to use the bug net? To Maybe. Let's check. That's a good question. That's a good point. Yes. Yes, I do. Use a witch's bug net to catch small creatures such as insects. Tiptoeing can be slow, but makes less noise. It's usually when catching sensitive creature creatures such as insects. Uh... What are you up to? Hello, would you like to join? Oh, tell me about the prickly vines of the village. The prickly vine in the village is not so good. Not so good? It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Yeah, I drank it by drawing it as tea. I dried and roasted by picking only thorns and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea? There are so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I'll also make some delicious tea for you. All right, I'll, I mean, I who can argue with tea? It tastes similar to that thing. It also tastes similar to white prickly vine and a little horny, a uh, little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also tried drinking all of them. Is this a game where we want to try and it had to stop? Yeah, exactly. Infinity Simplex. Yeah, but this is now. So last year when we played it, that was the demo. This is the early access release of the first uh, of the full of the game, and uh, we're doing a little sponsored stream for it. Uh, white, white prickly vine has a good scent. If it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyways, that was helpful. Come on over for some tea next time. Hey, what are you doing? Go on, cat. Um. So it's set to tip- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is tiptoe- Okay. Is tiptoe only- Alright, tiptoe is only active. If you've got the bug net equipped. So we can shake it. No, no, no. Shake. And then you go and grab the bush bug. And now I've got one of those. Poor bugs. It just ended its life, basically. Poor buggy bugs. Can we add a spoiler to the broom? I don't think so. But we can fix it. If I could remember the way back to our house, we could totally fix it. A turbocharger on it as well. Uh, the bush bug is a bug that lives in bushes. It is! Yes! Do we process the bug? I, I guess we go and squish it? Yeah, you go and you do actually squish it. Apparently, you remember the workbench in the witch's house. Sakoon, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of your Tuesday. And thank you so much for being here. 
All right, let's fix the broom. You know how to fix brooms? Of course, broom maintenance is a standard course at the school. I remember the broom you were working on. It flew as it spewed water from behind. <laughs> so yeah, apparently she is into modding her broom. I wanted to spit fire, but wasn't water cool too? You're lucky it was summer and that it wasn't fire. No one would have laughed. It wasn't one of those two. If it, uh, yeah. It was just once. I can fix it if I have the required materials. Branch or mud can be easily found in the forest. Basic broom. Oh, there's nothing inserted. Oh, I need to grab them. That is that is quite handy for gardening. Yeah, I think so too. Pimp my broom. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it is indeed pimp my broom. Whoops. Um, how do I... Oh. There we go. You have to, like, move, hold up. Right. I have repaired my broom. I wonder how long that'll last. I wonder how long that'll last. I have so much food now in my inventory. I don't need all of this food. I really don't. Alright. Let's go up. 